Hello family, so this is a video kind of describing how you can do this investigation at home. Uh, your students, unfortunately, were not able to do it just because I'm not on campus and I can't get hot water and cool water prepared. So I thought it'd be cool if they were, and fun if they were able to do this at home if they have the time. It's not mandatory, just an option, optional uh, investigation. So what you will need is you will need five cups. I have plastic cups, you can definitely use plastic cups, you can use whatever cups you have but you will need five cups. You'll need five sticky notes. On, on each sticky note, you're gonna write a letter of the alphabet. So A, B, C, D, and E. So on each one, so I have one A, one B, you're gonna do that all the way up to the letter E. All right, and then you will need um, a thermometer, which was sent home with you. You will need a syringe if you have it, or you can use measuring cup, uh, a spoon to stir, uh, their science journal and now i'm going to describe what you're going to do all right so we have our five cups so let's just focus on these first three cups so into uh, two cups it doesn't matter which cup it is uh, which two cups you choose but you want to measure 100 milliliters 100 milliliters of water into two cups and this is water that you're going to take straight from your sink whatever setting wherever position you have your water just measure 150, 100 milliliters of water into each cup, all right? And so I use my syringe to get 100 milliliters. Uh, you can use a measuring uh, cup that has the milliliter measurement right here, or if you do not have that, you only have measuring spoons. Uh, 100 milliliters is just shy of about half a cup of water. So these are two cups of water that just came straight from my sink. And then for in cup B, you're gonna get 100 milliliters of water as well, but you want it to be cool. So if you have refrigerated water, go ahead and just take 100 milliliters of water from your fridge. Or if you do not have uh, cool water already, you can just get an ice cube, put it in a glass of water, put a couple ice cubes in a cup of water for a few minutes, let the temperature drop, and then measure 150 milliliters of water into uh, your third cup. So now I have cup A, cup B, cup C. So now the first task you want to do is have your kid use their finger, use your finger, and put your finger into each cup. And then try and figure out which cup is the coldest and arrange them in order from coolest to warmest. All right, so I know that cup B is the coolest for me. All right, and now I think cup B is the second coolest and cup three is the C is the warmest. All right, so you're going to do that. So, but then you know that your finger isn't the most accurate tool that you can use to figure out the temperature. So then you're actually going to use your thermometer, all right, and you're going to measure the temperature in Celsius of each cup of water. So at home, you can set up your journal like this, right? You can have cup A, cup B, cup C, and you don't know the temperatures yet, but then you, once you measure the temperature, so I'm measuring the temperature of cup B right now. Once you measure the temperature of cup B, you're going to write the degrees in Celsius. So my cup B was 10 degrees Celsius, but yours might be a little warmer. It might be a little cooler. So then once you have imported the temperatures of all three liquids, you will now know which cup is the coolest, warmest, and hottest. All right, so now we have our three cups, but now we want to see how hot our hot temp our cup is. So now we're gonna do another one. So now this is where cup D comes into play. So now what I did is I put some water on the stove. I heated it up for about maybe five minutes. So now I have warm to hot water in this cup. All right, so you're gonna to need to maybe warm up a cup of water. You could use your microwave, you could use the stove. All right, and then again, to keep it fair and keep it consistent, I measured 100 milliliters of warm to hot water into cup D. So now this cup has 100 milliliters of water. So there, what cup D is, now again, I'm gonna use my thermometer and I'm gonna measure the temperature of cup D. Once you know the degrees in Celsius, I input the temperature of cup D. All right, so this is all about using our thermometer as a tool to figure out the temperatures of water. But then I wanted to do a little fun game. So I wanted, I predict, I wanted to see what the temperature would be. If we combined a little liquid from our coldest cup with our hottest cup, what would the temperature be when we combine both of those two liquids together? So now we're gonna have a cup E, right? And this will be the combined liquids from cup B and cup D. 
All right? So, um, I wrote, I predict that the temperature of cup B and cup D combined will be X amount Celsius. So, again, because every cup so far has been 100 milliliters of water, I'm going to take 50 milliliters of cup B and put it into cup E, right here. And then I'm going to take 50 milliliters of our warm liquid, cup D, and combine it with cup E. So we have 50 milliliters of cold, 50 milliliters of hot, that equals 100 milliliters. And then again, we're gonna use our thermometer, measure the temperature, and input the final temperature of cup E. All right, so that's the experiment that we did in class. I would love this, as many of you to do this at home if you're able to do so. All right, again, I'm sorry we're just not able due to all this going on as far as me teaching remotely and some students at home, some students on campus. It's just not fair and this is the best way I was able to do this. So I hope you had fun with this investigation and I will talk to you guys later.